ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. So go to ZocDoc.com VCG and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your research for a top-rated doctor today. Many are available even within 24 hours. So that's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash V-C-G. ZocDoc dot com slash V-C-G. Cut it! Thank you. Ice Age, where Sid's like, oh, 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 and then everyone else does it. All right. Um, How are you guys doing? Yeah? yeah? Feeling all right? That was so okay. stroby. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> intro. <Okay. I> don't, <laughs> intro was so stroby. Um, give it up for Marco, the AV guy. How do I, how do I, how do I, like, heighten, like, how do I make this taller? <laughs> Unscrew this to the left. She was never in theater. I was never a tech. Okay. Raise it up. There you go. And yeah. tighten it to the right. That'll do it. My computer Easy. shut off. Women in STEM. <laughs> all right, guys. So, first of all, thank you guys so much for coming out. This is wild. Oh, oh, fun. <laughs> Miami is a cursed city, but we're happy to be here. Mm-hmm. The city of angels. <laughs> city of dreams, where the, the <laughs> dreams die. The city of brotherly love. <laughs> In the Golden State. <laughs> All right, so um, we have a topic for you tonight. We do. Um, it's on the Florida man. I know the Florida man meme. We know it very well. Um, and I feel like it's fitting, especially being in Miami. We were just in Orlando, West Palm Beach, and now we're in Miami, the best city, <laughs> arguably. <laughs> arguably, I would argue. <laughs> Can I have a margarita? Uh, Just kidding. She doesn't even know. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I'm Sarah, and this is Brittany. I'm Brittany, and uh, my computer won't start because of all the porn. So give me like half a second. You're just gonna hear like moaning from like 20 yeah. different videos. No, it's just because I don't know how to, f- I don't know, it's like broken. Give this me a happens second. every show, her computer just shits out. Yeah, if I <laughs> scroll too fast, it shuts off. Um, you could cook an egg on how hot the fucking yes. mouse is. Um, we do want to give a disclaimer. Hold on. <laughs> we do. Don't cheer for that. Grow up. Y'all need to seriously grow up. Um, we want to give a disclaimer really quickly because I feel like on every episode we have to because a lot of the internet stuff we talk about is just like people being disadvantaged. And what's funny about that? Um, sometimes it is funny though. So we want to kind of point out that the spectacle of the Florida man is, you know, obviously redneckery on mm-hmm. display. And I said, hey. Yeah. And I'll say yee yee back to that. But it's also, you know, like as that's funny, you know, rednecks are funny. It's also kind of rooted in mental illness and mm-hmm. poverty. And heat. And oh, wait, heat. no, you were talking about the serious aspects. Well, no, the heat is serious. Yeah. This humidity will make you want to kill somebody, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get it. I can only imagine what you guys go through. <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's yeah. really tough out here. Every time I've come to Miami, I have never experienced this. Or even in Vegas, it's not like this. It's like, I am coming back to the hotel as the sun's coming up, and y'all just fucking do that here. Mm-hmm. That's just, like, kind of normal, I guess. So you guys need to get that checked out. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get started. Are you ready? Yes. You want a high five? Okay, so I'll start reading. Uh, Florida man refers to an alleged prevalence of male persons and female and non-binary people can be crazy too. Uh, (laughs) Performing irrational... There we go! Thank you, Alex! (laughs) Oh, shit! Can I... I'm gonna watch you drink that. Sarah's on antibiotics, so she can't drink. (laughs) Okay, so the Florida man is an internet meme popularized in 2013 and then repopularized in 2020. Internet users typically submit links to news stories and articles about unusual or strange crimes and other events occurring in Florida, with the headlines often literally having Florida Man mentioned in the titles or subtitles of such news reports. 
Uh, the Miami New Times claim that freedom of information laws in Florida make it easier for journalists to obtain information about arrests from the police than in other states, and that is responsible for the large number of news articles. We've been talking about this, how y'all just have like an open government. Mm -hmm. Did y'all know that you have that here? <laughs> Polyamorous no? government? Yeah, a lot of people in the front row just... What is that? So like an open government apparently is like you can search someone's like first and last name and find their uh, criminal record pretty easy. Yeah. I feel like dating should be like kind of easy here because you can find out yeah. if they're a murderer and if they're tall at the same time. Literally. Yeah. It'll give you eye color, height, weight. Yeah. Their profile says like 6'5", but then you go to their arrest record, they're like 5'9". You're like, all right, murderer from South Beach. <laughs> and he's a liar. Yes. Damn. I feel like that's helpful because mm -hmm. if you're like who is this guy because we already are sleuths like i personally google yeah. everyone that i meet online. interact with yes and so i feel like that's kind of a tool that we're not tapping into as much as we should be mm -hmm. criminal record i feel like i if i was you i would look into it i'm kind of just like getting doing getting what i could get you know <laughs> sort of situation there's not as many female serial killers that is true yeah that is true but they are out there eileen warnos um, Florida, sorry, no Ooh. one cares. Um, is she from Florida? Yeah. Hey, you, got, you guys got that going for you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Here. Um, a CNN article on the meme also suggested that the breadth of reports of bizarre activities is due to a confluence of factors, including public record laws, giving journalists fast and easy access to police reports, the relatively high and diverse population of the state, its high, highly variable weather, and gaps in mental health funding. Um, so I want to talk about the origin of the meme. The meme originated in February of 2013. Can you believe Florida Man's been <laughs> wreaking havoc <laughs> on, online for that long? Um, with a Twitter account, at Florida Man, which quoted notably strange or bizarre news headlines, as Sarah said, containing the words, Florida Man, such as Florida Man run over by van after dog pushes accelerator. <laughs> Police arrest Florida Man for a drunken joyride on motorized scooter at Walmart. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to like divide this into two, like people who are on the receiving end of a Florida man crime and then the Florida man themselves. Sure. I feel like you could like double your content right there. Yeah. You know, because getting ran over by a dog is one thing and then like running over a dog is another thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I feel like also there's kind of a Venn diagram happening here of Walmart people and Florida man. Mm -hmm. It's a big, what did you say earlier? It's almost a perfect it's circle. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a rectangle and a square. Oh yeah, they're like uh, rectangles. Are rectangles squares or squares, squares are rectangles? Squares are rectangles, but rectangles not a square. Yes, so that's Walmart to Florida. We went to school. Mm -hmm. You guys are first or third in education. Third, third. third in education. All right. What? <laughs> <Someone over there. laughs> Woo! Yeah, shocking. I mm -hmm. feel like everyone goes to school here and then they leave. Yeah. So what's left behind is Florida man. I feel like they go to school here, leave, and then they come back as 70-year-old people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rich. Who refuse to wear shirts or pants, you know? That's true. And just so much chest hair. <laughs> yes. God, I've never seen so much fucking chest hair and gold chains than when I'm in Miami. Especially the, the women. Especially the yes. women. <laughs> yeah. Shocking at first, like a nude beach. Yes. It's just, ah. My dad told me growing up when you eat spicy shit that he's like, watch out, I'll put hair on your chest. So for the, until I was like 16, I would eat like hot Cheetos and be like. <laughs> I was so scared. Also, did you, you were told that like watermelon seeds would grow in your stomach? Yeah. They do, so. Um, that if you swallow gum, it stays there. I feel like that one might be true. <laughs> I feel like that encouraged me to like swallow gum. <laughs> A whole packet of Hubba Bubba's yes. just in your fucking gut. But it's like rotting. unchewed in the packet. <laughs> <laughs> Stop what they meant. Babe, you barely touched your microplastics for the day. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking Hubba Bubba packet. All right. Would you like to talk about the... Oh, no, no, I'm not done. Stay there. The Florida Man Twitter feed was launched on January 26th of 2013, which featured news headlines containing the keywords Florida Man. Within one month, the account received over 64,000 followers. That's like half the people in this room. <laughs> That's like almost the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> That's the state of Florida. <laughs> the maintainer of the Twitter account, Florida Man, stated in 2019 that he had retired from creating tweets. Mm -hmm. They put yeah. his jersey in the rafters. <laughs> it just says Florida Man 69. 
they're just like, or like they have like a military funeral and then they like float, like they like fold his like flag. They like, Give it to his wife. Yes. He's not dead. <laughs> He's not. It's flags at half mast. Yes. <laughs> Florida man, the day Florida man went down. Um, so there was cultural spread of Florida Man. Because obviously, to be viral, these things have to leave the state of Florida, which I'm sure you guys love that that shit shapes how people see the yeah. state. Love that. I'm from Texas, and it's upsetting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yee yee, but yee yee, sad. <laughs> yee yee, derogatory. Yes. It's like, yeah, but I don't claim anything that goes on there, man. I left there. But it's also, it's wild because... I come here and I'm like, damn, that's some Florida shit. Yeah. Because my parents are in Destin and I've seen some of the most redneck yee-yee bullshit of my life on like Highway 98. Mm -hmm. But I feel like each state has like their reputation. Like Alabama probably doesn't like that they're known for like inbreeding. So like, you know, you're like, I hate that everyone focuses on Florida. Stop doing it. I know. My mother's side is all from Alabama. And never mind, sorry. Actually, that's really funny. My brother is my second cousin. That's, that, is not, that is not a lie. My, my cousin um, got pregnant when she was 15 and then she gave up my brother for adoption. So I could, oh, this is a gross joke. He hates this. I, you know what, I won't do it. I could hook up with my brother, but I wouldn't because I'm gay. And so every, and everyone's like, it's not the fact that he's your brother. It's, I, no, that's the funny part. That's gross. No, I, I laughed. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yes. My Nana has um, she, one of those situations, too. She mm-hmm. grew up with somebody in the family called Uncle Dad. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> take the girl out of the South. Can't take the South out of the girl. <laughs> uh, would you like to talk about the cultural spread? Yeah. Florida so, man spreading himself all over the U.S. Very thin. Um, after the creation of the account in January 2013, and its ensuing popularization on social media sites such as Reddit and Tumblr, initially through the subreddit r slash Florida Man and the Tumblr blog Stuck in a Bucket, the meme was featured in numerous news articles and stories throughout February of 2013. What? What'd you say back there? You want to speak up? Are you talking shit? <laughs> we like jump on the tables. <laughs> uh, we just pay for everyone's drinks. Okay, so... Florida Man was also referred to in the opening episode of... This is Stanley. Florida Man was referred to in the opening episode of season two of the FX show Atlanta. Thank you, Stanley, for that. Stanley just, like, included so much research in here that's like, why the fuck? He was, like, watching Atlanta, just like, and Florida Man was... (laughs) Speaking of which, and we're like, that that means nothing to anyone. Um, It was referred to by Darius as an alt-right Johnny Appleseed. Oh. um, That sounds about right. Kind of, yeah. Who commits a variety of strange crimes, crimes in Florida. And then on May 12, 2015, the Miami News Time published an article titled How Florida's Proud Open Government Laws Lead to the Shame of Florida Man News Stories, <laughs> which cited the state's Sunshine Act as a possible cause for the bevy of Florida Man News Stories. Yeah, y'all just air out everybody's shit. Mm-hmm. I think there's like 13 states with an open government. States with open... I was I going to say? Oh, I feel like... Because they said alt-right Johnny Appleseed... That's implying that these I feel like people, that's redundant. That's what? Redundant. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Appleseed was a raging racist alcoholic. We all know that. I feel like also the idea of Florida Man is um, Robin Hood, but just he just doesn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> so just a, a common criminal. Yeah, yeah. Named Robin Hood. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, who's from Florida. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it is the sunshine. What is that? What, that's where, like, everything's... Under the sun, right? The yeah. Sunshine State. Yeah. No, the Sunshine Act. Oh. Oh, so you see everything under the sun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's all out in the daylight. <laughs> see everything everybody does. I feel like if I was, if I were to have a Florida Man story, I would be naked somewhere. Yeah. Be doing something generally kind of naked. <laughs> Could I be naked with you? Yeah. So it's like Florida people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just hate being left out. Oh my God! Did y'all used to watch Swamp People? <laughs> Yes? No? No, right. none of you watch Swamp a People? A few people judge to watch Gator Boys? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fucking love Gator Boys! <laughs> love Gator Boys. I used to think I could do that. Mm-hmm. You know how they like tap them on the nose and like sit on them and just tape them around the mouth? Yeah. I was like, I watched about a season of it and I was like, I can do that. I feel like you could survive like a death spiral, like at least a couple. Me? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 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 And then when it stops, like, the alligator has your hair yeah. and your tracks on. Oh, uh, they would just, yeah, rip my, my wig out. 
When she moved back to her hometown, Gia never expected to run into Jack. But when she sees him at the local dive bar, she finds herself drawn to him all over again. Want to know what happens next? Or maybe you want to know a whole lot more? Check out this sexy story and many more on Dipsy. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters. Find stories about an intriguing coworker with a British accent or hooking up with your hot yoga instructor. Radically inclusive, Dipsy has stories for straight and queer listeners like me. And I personally love Dipsy's queer stories. I feel like a lot of erotica is written for the male gaze or the male ear. And with Dipsy, it's gay stories that I can get into and get off to. And 56% of stories are voice acted by people of color. You've never heard celebrities like this before. Listen to stories voiced by Saranis J. Jackson, ER Firemaster, and Luke Cook. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. They also have soothing sleep stories, which I really, really enjoy, wellness sessions, and sexy stories you can read. Let Dipsy be your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, relax and unwind, or heat things up with a partner. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash VCG. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash V-C-G. Dipsy stories.com slash V-C-G. Listen, if you're like me and you're a moly person, but you've got a little anxiety about booking a doctor's appointment because there's so many options out there, you just don't know where to start. Listen to me, okay? Go no further. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun. That's whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, or like me, you got to get that mold checked out. ZocDoc has got you covered. ZocDoc's mobile app is as easy as ordering a ride to a restaurant or getting delivery to your house. Search, find, and book doctors with a few taps. Go to ZocDoc.com, find the doctor that is right for you, book an appointment in person or remotely, and it'll work for your schedule. I use ZocDoc for all of my personal needs, and I got a lot of them, and I really recommend it. Listen, every month, millions of people use ZocDoc, and I'm definitely one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need to find and book a quality doctor. They've got real, verified patient reviews from real people who made real appointments. So go to ZocDoc.com slash VCG and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your research for a top-rated doctor today. Many are available even within 24 hours. So that's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash V-C-G. ZocDoc.com slash V-C-G. Well, um, this is a quote from that article (laughs) that we were talking about 25 minutes ago. As journalists, all we have to do in most cases is call the police department and ask for an arrest report, and the cops are required to give it to us. Nowadays, a lot of cops simply email the reports, and some departments even post arrest records online. Some of the more dedicated weird Florida news reporters go through batches of arrest reports at a time. That's just freaky that everything is so public. Exactly. On November 1st, 2018, Desi Leidick of The Daily Show filed a report comedically investigating the phenomenon of Florida Man, so we've made it now to national television. Mm -hmm. Give a round of applause for yourselves. National television. In 2018, IO Interactive released the stealth action video game Hitman 2, a favorite of ours. Yes, we love it. I love Hitman 1. (laughs) It's back with a vengeance. Too fast, too Hitman. (laughs) In the game's second level, set in Miami, Florida, the players can disguise themselves as Florida Man and owner of a local food stand. The player can use this disguise to poison and eliminate their target. (laughs) (laughs) Also, who's eating in a video game? Well, actually, do you, like, I guess, like, fuel? I don't know, I've never played, like, a video game where you need health and you have to eat. I've played, like, Webkins. Oh. <laughs> if you don't feed your webkins or your Nintendogs, they don't die, but they do get like emaciated. Mm-hmm. Wait, can you tell? Like, do they have like rib flares? <laughs> <laughs> they have hip dips on their webkins. I'm like, you look so good. <laughs> no, I um, they're just like feed me, and I'm oh. like, I don't have any credits. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played Nintendogs in fucking 13 years. Oh, uh, they're dead. They are. Can Mine they die? Is... Can Nintendogs die? No. Oh. Okay, glad to report they're not dead. <laughs> they're in purgatory. Yeah. I used to be in the back of, like, we had a van growing up. 
Sounds about right. Yeah. You know, the Tomlinson clan traveled around in a van, because there was like 17 of us. And I would be in the back of the van with my little Nintendo DS, just like, sit, sit. <laughs> Got yelled at. That was really fun. That's actually funny, because I did live in an RV for like yeah, that's right. a really long time. We well, lived in a, well, not lived, but we traveled in a conversion van. Oh. <laughs> you know, like when the cable guys come to set up your like the internet or the like, satellite? Like a white, unmarked van is just your entire family? Yeah, it was gray. It was silver. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That literally was how I was dropped off at school. Oh, nice. It was, it was a lot. It's shaped who I am as a person. Yeah. Honestly, being dropped off in a van. They're like, are you okay? Yeah. I mean, that's, I've been dropped off in the RV, so I totally get it. To school? Yeah, and also, um, we took it to college. My brother and I went to the same college, so we, like, dropped off all the stuff in the first year with him and then me with nice. the same RV. It's impossible to find parking for an RV. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Especially yeah. on a college campus. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sounds fucking awful. A play titled Florida Man by Wait, Michael Presley Bobbitt. What? No, we were talking about the... The, the character of Florida Man also makes an appearance oh. in a level set in Berlin, Germany in Hitman 3 where their player can again take his disguise. Because again, if you want to fit in in Berlin, Germany, you dress up like you're from Miami, Florida. <laughs> I feel like, what would be the attack weapon? Like a possum? Actually, wait, the clothes are like similarly tight. So I feel like you could, I'm sorry guys, your clothes are so tight. But <laughs> uh, and P Europeans wear tight clothes too. I feel like Miami's more like BBL fashion, Nova fashion. <laughs> and Berlin's just like. Emaciated Nintendogs fashion. Yeah, yeah, that or like, I like to play this game when I'm in Europe called, are, they, are these men gay or are they just European? Yeah. You know, it's like just the, Plunging v-necks, like showing more cleavage than me, just like super tight jeans. And most of the time they're just both gay and European. And most of the time they're making out with another man, and so it's kind of hard hmm, Are to... they European <laughs> while they're actively making out with another man? It's hard to tell, and to try to decide if they want me or not. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, it's, it's hard. Anyway, a play titled Florida Man by Michael Presley Bobbitt. Love him. Love him so much. Premiered July 31st, 2019 at New York's Theater Row Studios. They wrote a play about fucking Florida Man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's just like 911 calls, but like transcribed. <laughs> so like describe what you're seeing and then you just have to act out like what the person is reading. Actually, that'd be a f like a really fun like improv exercise. <laughs> Like acting out, like what are you seeing? And then they're like, I'm naked. And then you're just supposed to like improv, like being yeah. nude. Your headline is Florida man throws is, gator, throws gator at cousin, and is naked. Yeah. And then you have to act that. I think that'd be really good. We and should try that sometime. We should. Do you want to skip over the the West Palm Beach stuff? We're not in West Palm Beach. We had so many Republican jokes planned, but they were surprisingly <laughs> liberal. It was really fun. I want to do Republican jokes to Republicans. Oh, I was going to make fun of the Republicans, but none of them were Republicans. Yeah. So, like, we were, like, we're, um, so West Palm Beach, I guess, is, like, three miles from Mar-a-Lago, Mar which Brittany thought was fake. Sarah described it as the Dollywood of Republicans. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Come to find out, it's Trump's resort. Yeah, so I was, Makes like... Sense. If that's so close, they might all be like Republicans. And then we were like, are you guys Republicans? And they're like, no. And we're like, oh, well, hell yeah, never mind. Let me just yeah. scrap a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any prepared? No, I have scrapped it. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> so on January 20th of 2013, Redditor, a Redditor submitted a post. Like, Stanley, fuck you, dude. <laughs> submitted a post titled, Florida Man is a Terrible Superhero. <laughs> featuring a screenshot of Google News search results for news stories containing the keywords Florida Man. Within one month, the post received over 22,000 upvotes. Crazy. Mm -hmm. This is just stupid stats. Thanks, Stanley. Oh, on February 8th, Slate published an article noting that the Florida Man profile avatar was a mugshot of Indiana resident Ricky Lee Calicoon. He's not even so from Florida. He's from Indiana, the Florida of the middle of the country. <laughs> Oh, wait, yes, okay, okay. So I was talking about this with a lot of people. Why is like Chicago not like the Middle East? Like why don't we call that the Middle East? Because it is more East than West. <laughs> Literally, Idaho is the Midwest. Chicago is the Mid Middle East. I feel like Middle East is kind of occupied. <laughs> kind of, people just like know where that is. <laughs> You're like, where are you from? From the Middle East? You're from fucking Kansas. <laughs> well, I mean, you wouldn't be, we wouldn't be wrong. It'd just be like a weird way to say it. It's true. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always wondered that. Why do they call it the Midwest? 
Because it's not west. Maybe the pioneers were going west, and they were like, this is more west than we were. They were like, well, yeah, we're good here. Yeah. This is the middle. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Who were we talking about? We were talking about uh, Ricky Lee. Oh, yeah, yeah, from Indiana. Indiana. He was arrested in January of 2011 after covering his face in black marker and attacking his neighbor with a sword. That reminds me of like the new Batman movie, the meme where everyone's like, you gotta put on your eyeliner before you like fight crime. <laughs> to be taken seriously. Ricky Lee is like naked on his way out of the house with a sword and he's like, oh fuck, let me, and then he just like draws on his face a little bit and like let heads Let me out. open my naked tomb palette. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> where like three of the shadows are like shattered and he's only using the black and he's just like, all right. His Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, he's like, it's all I had. Is that? He's like, I don't support him anymore, it's all I had. He's like, he like turns to his roommates, like, guys, don't cancel me, it's all I have. <laughs> and then he like runs out the door with a sword. They're like, we get it, it's a good palette, yeah. it's good quality. So, I feel like um, these kind of stories, it's like, where the fuck did you get a sword, dude? Mm -hmm. Where can you just like go buy a sword? I feel like at a lot of smoke shops, you can buy like crystals <laughs> and like bongs and swords. And, and weapons. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like a one-stop shop for like, I don't know, a fever dream, you know? <laughs> you're like, yeah. I don't know. You can always buy like random like katanas and stuff while you're getting uh, like a vape. The last time I was in a smoke shop, I was with my friend who has a crippling addiction to Jewel. And so we went to a smoke shop to try to get some jewel pods before they got like recalled or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's like stocking up on them. And there was this insane art, I was drunk. Insane art on the wall of this uh, uh, shop, this smoke shop that was like SpongeBob and Bugs Bunny and like Bob Marley all smoking a book oh, yeah, together. Yeah. And I was like, is that real? <laughs> like is that a historical <laughs> photo? It's wild, it's so cool. Like, Smoke shops are just, yeah, you enter it and it's like, this mm -hmm. isn't, where am I? <laughs> Everything you've ever needed to decorate your bedroom is just right there. <laughs> All the interior design you could ever want. Exactly. You walk in, it's like, what year is it? <laughs> Fuck me. Um, in the next several days, compilations of notable tweets from the Twitter account were featured on several internet news and tech blogs, including The Daily Dot, Laughing Squid, it's like the CNN of the internet. <laughs> Gawker, Mashable, and BuzzFeed. What's the laughing squid? Imagine getting your news from the laughing squid. On that uh, media bias chart, they're the most like neutral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laughing squid, we're just here to tell it how it fucking is. They're right under like uh, NPR. It's just the <laughs> laughing squid. <laughs> like, oh shit. Um, so on February 14th, Valentine's Day, NPR, I don't know why that was important, NPR <laughs> broadcasts a new segment on All Things Considered featuring audio clips of reporters reading headlines containing Florida Man. So it made its way to NPR, mm -hmm. the final boss. <laughs> this is kind of um, just like dismal on... Freaky. That was my butt, not the chair. <laughs> just farting. Um, on February 2nd, 2015, filmmaker Sean Dune released a documentary titled Florida Man. And um, it is none of the, you know, like when you watch a documentary and you're like, this shit's going to be good. Where there's a trailer and it's like dramatic music. And it's like, I didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs> I grew up next to him and he was a normal boy. Like that sort of shit where it's like, Ooh. yeah. This is just a documentary. It's just fucking filming people outside of a 7-Eleven yeah. in Florida. <laughs> It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> drunk, drunk, <laughs> cut, cut them off, they're done. <laughs> it's literally just like someone went to a gas station and was just like. Yeah. It looks like the, like it was filmed. <laughs> it looks like it was filmed on someone's like backup camera. <laughs> or like a 7-Eleven like security like footage. It just like of 24 hour feed of like people just walking in and just being normal. Yeah. And they're like, this is like hard hitting news. Yeah. Groundbreaking evidence. Yeah. It's just wild. The, the, it's called Florida Man. If you guys want to watch it, mm -hmm. that's it. Just like filming people from Florida. It is kind of sad though. Brittany was watching it and then listening to Fleetwood Mac and then watching TikToks. And it was so overwhelming to be sitting next, because the thing is, she was originally sitting across the room, and I was like, this is fine. And then she brought everything over. And I was like, hey, can I you turn that- you. I know, but I was like, can you turn that down? And she's like, why? And I was like, it's overwhelming to be like this close and watching all this shit. She's like a baby. I just like that, that fucking TikTok trend of like, 
you have Netflix going, you have your music playing, you're on your phone on Pinterest, and then you're on like Twitter on your laptop, and then you're singing along to a song. It's like not room for a single thought in your brain. <laughs> I did that to you accidentally. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and everything's full volume. Yes. It's fine. Would you like to talk about beer? Mm-hmm. Uh, so on March 10th, 2015, the Orlando Sentinel reported that the Tampa-based craft brewery company Cigar City Brewing Terrible name. has launched a beer brand named Florida Man Double IPA. That sounds awful. It's just like dishwater with some cigarette butts in it. <laughs> It is dip. It's like a can of skull with a lime wedge, just like on the side of it. That's literally what it is. Dip spit with yeah. a lime wedge in a shot glass. Oh, Have, gross, dude. Have you guys ever drank a beer with like cigarettes in it? Yeah. See, oh my god. So the, where the fuck have you? You did. It was traumatic. It was traumatic. Yeah. Oh, really? Cool. There's Makes literally sense. the last two crowds were like, no. And then there was so many yeses. You guys are foul. <laughs> okay, no, but I've done that. You know, like you're out of... <laughs> I also went to school in South Carolina, so I get it. Um, uh, but yeah, like you grab a beer that's open and you're like, I'll drink this. I, I've never... <laughs> Holy shit! I think I... <laughs> I've definitely been roofied, but at that, not at that point. Not yet. Surprisingly um, not that night. Yeah. A different night. Yeah, it was gross. Um, I also have smoked a cigarette from the wrong end on accident. You can like feel like your brain like dying because you're just like, <laughs> oh, there was like this huge like plastic factory like uh, burning in like California and they like blocked off like five miles and I was like, it'll be fine if I go for a walk. Literally, I, I couldn't see. <laughs> and so I was like, I should turn around. This is serious. Wow. Yeah, so don't breathe in plastic, you've guys. Had your, you've had your uh, lifetime supply of microplastics. Mm -hmm, I have. You're good. <laughs> I need to catch up. <laughs> Chew on some Polly Pocket parts. <laughs> anyway, um, this beer literally has a picture of Ricky Lee, our Indiana man. He's not even from Florida. He's not even fucking from here, dude. According to the brewery spokesperson, the microbrew has a bright citrusy hop character with hints of piney resin. There's that plastic. There's the plastic. Yeah. Apricot, peach, orange, and lemon on a solid malt background. You know, I used to think malt. You're just like, oh, a malt beverage. It's like White Claws or malt beverages and like wine coolers. That's a malt beverage. Oh, I thought malt was like Guinness. <laughs> I thought malt was a milkshake. What? Malt? I thought malt like a malt milkshake. Oh. Or like malt malted milk balls. Wait, so is malt not like Guinness? Malt is like a... What is malt? It's time to Google. <laughs> is, it's like Barbie? Is it it's dark? Bread. Oh. <laughs> it's like a, a yeast infection. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm starting to get um, a yeast infection right now. Okay, so I'm on... All right, I'm on antibiotics because I tore my butthole open. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, and she's wearing white pants. I am, and I'm wearing... I'm also wearing my show... <laughs> I'm also wearing my show panties. Um, so these are the only... This is the only white thong I own, so I have to wear them. It's your bridal set. Yeah. <laughs> my mother passed it down to me. I watched my father, like... Yeah. The elastic's kind of stretched. Um, Holy shit. Ew, wait, I was thinking that my dad took it off my mom during their wedding ceremony, but that's a garter belt. Oh, fuck me. Could you imagine going for like the underwear during like a, like a wedding? It's just my Finx period panties <laughs> coming off under my dress. A full body Sphinx with your mouth. <laughs> oh, <God>. yes. <laughs> Ecosystem growing in there. Yes. Holy shit. But so basically antibiotics like really mess with the pH of your pussy, so. That's where that was coming from. Malt liquor. Yeah. <laughs> is a type of mass market beer with mm -hmm. high alcohol content. Is it dark when it's in the bottle? Or is it light when it's in the bottle? I don't know. Because malt, White Claws are considered a malt beverage. Then what is malt liquor? Legally, it often includes any alcoholic beverage with 5% or more alcohol by volume. So Made with malted barley. Whoever said barley, yeah. you work at a brewery, huh? No. <laughs> Wait, she's what? You're like, I just like to drink some. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well. Okay, now I know. The more, the more you know. Mm -hmm. 
What is your, your go-to, like, you like those Topo Chico seltzers. Yeah, or um, wine, <laughs> or Jack Daniels, or moonshine. Um, that's only because <laughs> I try, sure. okay, guys, I have a drinking problem, and so, if you drink, you can't enjoy drink. This is an alcoholic speaking. Okay, if I'm gonna drink something, I have to make myself slow down. So I have to drink something that's physically disgusting, you know? Holy shit. So you, it's, yeah. You do I thought know? you make that carrot juice drink that you like. Oh no, that's, I drink that in the morning. That's just carrot juice and ginger beer. That's, that's oh. not alcoholic. Sounds delicious. It's really good. It's you thought juice. I was drinking in the morning? <laughs> I literally make that for my breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> I have such a massive fucking problem. <laughs> All right, so there was a, a trend that was called the Florida Man Challenge, mm -hmm. where um, herein the subject would Google Florida Man and their birthday and come up with a headline. Yeah. Mine is a uh, Florida Man steals alligator from golf course, tries teaching it a lesson by throwing it on the roof of a bar. <laughs> Sounds. Pretty accurate to both of us. Trying to think about how big the alligator was or how strong the men were. That's always my question is when it's like, Florida man fucking manhandles gator. It's yeah. like, did you, is it like a tail? Like, sh sh yeah. Or is it like one of the big girls where you gotta sit on the back and like mm -hmm. tape the mouth? But then again, how do you pick it up? Because yeah. on Gator Boys, it takes two grown men to lift the gator <laughs> into the back of the truck. Yes. So trust me, yes. I've seen it. So it's always like, I don't know when gators are involved and how often are they dead? Mm -hmm. Like just throwing dead gators at people. <laughs> that literally would be like the premise of Gator Boys is someone's like, well, the gators are in the pool again. Could we get Sean to come out and do it? And they're like, yes, Mrs. Taylor, we'll be out there in 20 minutes. And it's someone in a t-shirt, bald, missing a few fingers, barefoot, <laughs> cargo shorts. <laughs> In the truck with, of course, the man with the beard and yeah. the cowboy hat. And they get in the truck and they're like, where's your fucking, where's the gator? Wait, it's like the, it's like the redneck version of Mythbusters. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's like those two guys <laughs> without shirts on or shoes. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Except they're testing the, the limits of... Um, Science. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Both shows are. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the laws of nature is really yes. what we're testing here. Um, and they show up and it, they're just like, he gets in the pool with just a fucking GoPro strapped to his forehead <laughs> and like a fishing net with a GoPro on it. And he's like, come here, <laughs> talking to it like it fucking speaks English. And he gets in the pool and it's always like the swampiest, mossiest, nasty algae pool you've ever seen. Like these people clearly don't use this pool. But then you see like, like, get the gator. You see like the pool vacuum like still going there. <laughs> just like slowly up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbling. Is someone in there? Gosh, the vacuum. Yes. And so he gets in and he like gets the gator somehow. And he does the death spiral and whatever. And then the, they double, double team him and pull him up onto the shore, the backyard, yeah. by his tail. And they wrestle him for a little bit. And then someone gets on his back. And they literally use like electrical tape, like almost scotch tape mm -hmm. to tape. It's like packing tape. Literally. It's, it's like thin tape because yeah. once you immobilize the jaw, I know everything about gators. Once you immobilize the jaw, they can't bite you anymore. They're really not a threat. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. But they're, they're still like 500 pounds. So back to your birthday yeah, article. That's true. How big do you think the gator was that landed on the roof? I had to be a little baby gator. Yeah, but throwing a child, that's not gentle parenting. That's true. Mm -hmm. He'll never learn. He's he just going to repeat the behavior. <laughs> the, the gator will. Yes. Do you have any more birthday stories? Um, one year I got stung by wasps on my birthday. No, not, I meant like oh. <laughs> the gator. Uh, what, um, oh, wait, actually, yeah. Um, do you guys ever get so like happy that you throw up? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You're like covered in vomit? Yes! Yes! I do! <laughs> no! <laughs> no. Can we get a waiter over the table? <laughs> no, I was gonna say, like, the craziest, well, you said wasp. The craziest thing that happened on my birthday was, like, I was like, I got everything I wanted, and then I just threw up all over myself. <laughs> I was just, I've never been so happy. <laughs> I wasn't even drunk. <laughs> How old are you? What? How old were you? I think it was like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to come 
burp you. Yeah, no. It's like white formula came up out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sarah gets excited. Can we y'all throw out some birthdays? We can Google. What's it? August 15th? January 15th. February 15th, D Day. That's not correct. <laughs> your mom's birthday's today? <gasps> what's, oh, I was like, what's today? September 1st? We'll do September 1st. <laughs> we wish her happy birthday. Okay, do you want me to read your birthday thing? Oh, you know, I'm, it's birthday, girls. Um, my computer keeps shutting off. Um, naked, <laughs> stop, seriously. There's just so I, much porn. Okay, naked Florida man. <laughs> naked Florida man starts house fire. Come on. Here, ha house fire. I got it. While baking good. Oh, no, that's not fun. What's yours? Oh, no, like you didn't finish it. It keeps shutting off. Naked Florida man starts house fire while baking cookies on George Foreman grill. <laughs> that's yours. This is September 1st. Florida man claiming people were eating his brains leads police on insane golf course chase. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Wait, well, there's one over here. 7 Eleven? July 11, and we'll do June 18th. June 18th. Florida man! I would Florida help. woman! Ooh. It, wait, well, I don't know if that was a bad or good reaction. June 18th, Florida man in cow pajamas among six arrested on drug charges. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Yes. July 11th, Florida man. I hope one of y'all said 7-Eleven, because if you didn't, that's embarrassing. Not <laughs> Actually, September... I know more people born on fucking 9-11 than anyone in my life. Some of you bitches are lying. Literally? No, no, no. Brittany, it's okay. September uh, 9th through the 15th are the most common birthdays because it's nine months after New Year's Eve. Well, that's unfortunate. So there's, um, there's more Virgos in the world than anyone would like. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I love you guys. Well, here's your 9-11 birthday. Florida man accused of beating, spitting on elderly victim. Florida man spots firefighter running toward angel in clouds on September 11th. <laughs> and they included a picture. It was just someone like cloud gazing. Yeah. They were like, look at this fucking idiot. It's a slow news day when you're reporting on like someone like who thought they saw something in a cloud. Yeah. Calling 911. There's a man in the clouds. <laughs> yes. He's talking to me. <laughs> That's just God. And then the operator's like, what does he look like? A firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> what is he He's doing? Walking. White and fluffy. It's a cloud. It moved. Never mind. <laughs> well. That was fun. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Please don't threaten us. <laughs> Florida man encases self in concrete at governor's mansion. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. It was a 55 gallon plastic drum and he filled it with concrete and then he put himself in it. Oh Happy, my god. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's like birthday the worst you. birthday gift ever and it's so hard to unwrap. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a man encased in a fucking concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Chiseling it like marble. It's that like chocolate where you get like that tiny hammer and you try to find like the gift inside. Yeah. Except it's a chisel and a dead guy. Yeah. Well, that was the Florida Man challenge. There are related, related instances of like Florida Man mm -hmm. who aren't from Florida. There's a Columbia Man. Uh, shortly after the viral takeoff of Florida Man in late February, screenshots and tweets of headlines describing bizarre news story about a Colombian man began emerging on Twitter and Tumblr. On February 28, 2013, Tumblr blogger Red Suspenders posted an image compilation, compilation of Columbia Man headlines. Would you like to read some? I would. Colombian Man is holding a census for ghosts. <laughs> My mom was there, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's like one of those like detectors where it's like if you're registered to vote, like beep once. And yeah. Then... If you if there's any ghosts out there, say hi. <laughs> yeah. Sign the guest book. It's like, are you Newsom or Smith? And then they like, yeah. 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 Whatever. No, I got it. I yeah. was on the same wave. Columbian man describes his 20 years living in a sewer. 
what? <laughs> Colombian man gets driver's license suspended for 900 years. <laughs> What do you have to do to get your driver's license suspended for 900 years? And not go to jail. It's just suspended. You brought more than 3.4 fluid ounces over to TSA. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're done! Yes. Give me that real ID back! <laughs> Colombian man killed by flying toilet. Aw. That'll do it. Uh, that'll get you. <laughs> Here's another one called Drunk Humans. On February 20th, Twitter account Drunk Humans was created to provide the latest updates on police news reports and offbeat stories involving individuals described as drunk man or drunk woman. Unfortunately, no drunk uh, non-binary people. They're you guys are not included. Yeah, you guys are notoriously sober. <laughs> Famously. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's just how many of that is uh, people sending in videos of their friends and being uh -huh. like, you look so dumb! Yeah. And then they get like kicked out of college or something. Yeah, it's just like a girl named like Alyssa like throwing up in the toilet and they're like, oh my God, this is so fucking funny. Yeah. It's like, is it though? It seems like she has no pants on, you yeah. know? This You're her best like friend. Violation of privacy <laughs> somehow <laughs> in some way, don't know. There's also a shirtless man on March 16th. Twitter account shirtless man was launched in a similar vein. I wonder, where's shirtless woman? Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, we want to see the shirtless <laughs> woman. Put her up on the screen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> was launched in a similar vein to the previous accounts, which gained more than 6,100 followers in less than two weeks. It's actually pretty lame. Um, on October 28th, <laughs> the Daily Dot published an article about the spinoff account. And then there's the Florida Man subreddit. You can't beat Florida Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we do need to, like we mentioned at the beginning, if you want to. Do you want to touch on this? Um, yeah, we have to be yeah. serious. So, uh, yeah, you go ahead. Okay, um, so millions around the world were enthralled to discover tales of drunken Florida citizens crashing their lawnmowers into police cars, um, pulling alligators from their yoga pants during routine traffic stops, or setting fire, <laughs> license registration, gator, <laughs> um, or setting fire to their houses while trying to barbecue cookies in the nude. A uh, little wonder, perhaps, that some are attempting to monetize the concept by trademarking the term Florida man and selling t-shirts and coffee mugs, and a cable network is pressing ahead with plans to give the state's most distant functional superhero his own primetime show. Capitalism. It'll do it. I imagine, is it going to be like cops, but just like someone with an iPhone like 11 <laughs> on, the, on the sidewalk just filming <laughs> with people from Florida? I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like, I was like, who would watch this? But I grew up watching Turtle Man. I remember Turtle Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, it, wait, is it the same concept as like two guys who look like Mythbusters? Two guys, one cup? Yeah. <laughs> two guys, one cup. Two guys, one turtle. Um, it's, it's basically, Turtle Man was, <laughs> they would call Turtle Man to come out there and get wild animals. They'd be like, we got a raccoon in the garage. And then Turtle Man would be like, I'm on my way. Yee -yee. And he's barefoot, yeah. has shark tooth, tooth, teeth, yes. teeth <laughs> yeah, shark around teeth. his neck. Mm -hmm. Just classic Turtle Man. Okay. Damn, you guys are drinking tonight, huh? Yeah. All of us, another round, another round, <laughs> <laughs> another round. <laughs> <laughs> you find weird stuff going on anywhere you find people, but Florida is absolutely the gold standard, said Craig Pittman, a Tampa Bay Times journalist and author of the New York Times bestseller, Oh, Florida. And New York Times bestseller means nothing at this point. Yeah. I feel like every person has been on the New York Times bestseller. You sell 25 books and they're like, God damn, they're a bestseller. You shot to number one. <laughs> <laughs> number one on the charts. No one's reading. No, everyone forgot how to read. So Florida man, Pittman says, could be anyone from the 21 million people in Florida, male or female. Again, non-binary people, you, you guys don't exist. Um, uh, not in Florida. Well, me. Um, apparently. It's become this all-encompassing stereotype of a bulging, often inebriated person and doing something ridiculous or clearly insane and the very least incongruous. Incongruous? Incongruous? Congress. In Congress. They're in Congress. They're in Congress. The Senate. Oh my God, it goes, AOC. It goes straight to the top. <laughs> They've infiltrated our government. Biden. Okay. I, I feel like it's, it's very much, like we kind of said at the beginning, it's poverty and income inequality on display. Mm -hmm. And that really makes it, you know, like when you're a victim of the opioid crisis and you've got all these factors working against you, you know, it's, you act out and it's fucking hot. 
And so that makes sense why people kind of act out of pocket. Because even, I've had some family vacations ruined by just the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just start yelling for no reason. Disney it's like, World trips just gone to shit. Oh my God, every like drive to a theme park with my family has been like, 30 minutes in, my dad has to step out, like pull over on the side <laughs> of the highway and just like scream, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cactus. And then my mom's like, you know he gets overwhelmed. We were just breathing yes. in the back seat. I always, I get it now though, as an adult, like it, uh, little things that people do, I'm like, I get it. Oh, girl trips, girl trips, dude. Uh -huh. I'm the friend that plans everything. So yeah. when you're, when you're that friend and people are non-responsive, don't pay their part, don't fucking respond to texts. It's like, do you want to go or not, girl? Let me know. And so it's it's very much like I get it. Yeah. The, the position of the dad. Yes. You know, that's like, you kids, I told you to get in the car at 7.30, it's 7.55. Yeah. We got to check in at 3. Yes. It's like I get it now. So I, I called my dad the other day and I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a, kind of a shithead as a kid. I'm sorry about that. He's like, who is this? <laughs> How'd you get this number? <laughs> My dad oh. actually came to the Orlando show. Oh, yeah, her nice. dad came. It was super sweet. It was cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said, I don't appreciate your language, but you guys are funny together. That actually worried me, because I was going to talk about why my butthole ripped open. <laughs> and then we did. Yeah, and she's like, my parents are here. And I was like, will that stop me? And it didn't. They don't even know. Say it. All right, so my business manager, whom I've never met, is also here tonight. So, Travis, I'm so sorry in advance. Um, hey, Travis. So, hey, we're Tra going to email threads where together. Are you, where are you at, know where Travis? You are. Hey. Woo! Okay. So, um, I ripped my butthole open doing anal in the shower on Sunday morning. Um, the Lord's Day. I was about to say the Lord's Day. Um, so then right after, I went to Party City to buy a gun. A fake gun, and I felt my stomach like gurgling, and so I was like, "Oh my God, I need to shit." So, uh, the, I, but it was one of those bathrooms where I needed the employee to open the door with a key. And so, since there's a lot of uh, there was, you know, a lot of crime in the area, he kind of stood outside the door while I, you know, but I couldn't. I didn't even sit down all the way when I just shit blood all over the toilet. <laughs> and I mean, like a lot. And so I did clean it up, but he heard it. It was like, you know, a car backfiring. Um, <laughs> And so I was like, with the trajectory of the blood and the splash pattern, that's, that's not my period. They so have a forensic analyst come in yes. and like analyze the, the CSI, blood they got like fingerprints. Yes. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she was a lesbian. I'm still like shirtless on the pot, like rocking back and forth <laughs> while they're doing their investigation. With one of those space blankets <laughs> yes. around you. Yes. <laughs> Holy okay, shit. so I was like, I need to go to urgent care. And this is the part that I thought was funny. The guy at urgent care was like, you've been here before. And I was like, I have. Uh, I went here two months ago when I broke my nose eating pussy. Um, and people are like, people are like, how does that happen? And it's when someone sits on your face way too hard. Yes. Um, Is I that you being a poor recipient or them being too aggressive? Um, it's me not knowing my limits. Um, <laughs> hey, you gotta learn somehow. Or like my weight class. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Um, or you know, like I needed someone to squat, like, like what's it when someone's like stands behind you at a bench? Spotter. Sp I needed someone to spot me and I just thought I could do it myself. <laughs> okay. So that hurt and that's when I saw that guy again. And then the two months before that, I got a kidney, I got a UTI so bad it turned into a kidney infection. And I did, I did go to the hospital and I was there for four hours and they put me in a wheelchair because I was literally screaming, help me. But then I went up to the nurse and she's like, if you're not having a heart attack or you can still breathe, then we're going to see you in two hours. And I was like, damn. So then I went back to screaming, and then she was like, you could go to urgent care. So I went to urgent care and met that guy for the actually second time, because a year before that, I, I met him when I got hit by a car. Okay, but this was really funny. Um, so it was right before Christmas. Yes, I do say Christmas. Um, <laughs> and so I, um, <laughs> I know we're in the South, okay. But, um, so I got hit by a car crossing the street and I was wearing like this like nutcracker sweater and I rolled it up on his- It had nuts on it. Yeah, it had nuts, like actual nuts. And, cause it was from Spencer's, I just did a deal. But, um, 
I rolled up on this guy's hood, I roll off, and then he rolls down the window and he's like, I'm so sorry, I have to go. <laughs> and, he, and he drives off, and so I go to the, I, I have to go pick up the stuff, but my ankles were black for like two weeks, and I went to the urgent care. So I, when this guy was like, I've seen you before, I was like, yes, you have, you, the one who like signed me in for like the past like four times I've met you. And I think that we should just be friends at this point. So yeah, that's why I tore my butthole. Back to Florida man. <laughs> anyway, Florida man. Yes. And hey, Marco, can we get the uh, HDMI? Marco. Is it working? Marco. We have some examples of Florida man headlines. Ah! <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> the rapture! We get raptured. <laughs> raptured at the Miami Improv, again. Yes. <laughs> I feel like it's like a reverse rapture where we just like go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> they finally come for us. Mm -hmm. All right, Marco. All right, you let me. You let me know, Marco Polo. What's going on, man? Anyway, uh, the last time I was at Sarah goes to urgent care way more than I do. But the last time I was at urgent care was because I rolled my ankle as well. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a cool story like that. It's like I was, was doing that, this. Do you I think was, that was a cool story? I think your. I think some of your stories are cool. Okay. I would say that. But um, Marco. Marco. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. We said that to him, and I was like, do people say that a lot? And he's like, yes. Yeah. You know? he, a deep sigh. Just, mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you guys about the show. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I rolled my ankle just walking, and it turned so... Is that you? Or was that Marco? No, that was me just now. I'm sorry. God. <laughs> like, I've, I've infiltrated the show. I apologize. Make sure noise for Marco once again. So I'm plugged in back here. You guys plugged in up there? Yes. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to unplug it because that's as far as my expertise go. Slay. Thank you. Slay. All right, Marco. Oh, while Brittany is getting that worked on, she didn't, she didn't think this was funny, but I did. Um, so we did this last night with the West Palm Beach crowd, and we did, like, Florida Man stories. And there was one Florida man who threw a gator through a Wendy's window, and a girl in the crowd was like, that's my brother. And he was yes. hot. He was hot. The okay. mugshot was hot. Brittany's like, he's kind of cute. And she's like, he's dead. Immediately, just like I felt my butthole suck up into myself. I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Fuck. But then she came to the meet and greet and was really lovely. A huge Harry Styles fan. Yeah. Yeah, I felt super fucking bad about that. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Should we, do we need a, do we need an intermission? <laughs> yeah, literally, can you guys see? Should Keep we just, with the zinger, Sarah, you're doing great. <laughs> how about we just, um, I'm trying to think of another personal story that no one wants to hear. <laughs> That's okay. If this doesn't work. Can you all get your money back? <laughs> Kidding. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, we want to um, read, we want to throw it up here, but there's Florida Man headlines that are so awful <laughs> mm. <laughs> that we want to put them up there and react to them, and some of them have pictures associated. We can do it without it. So, Marco, if you can't get it to work, I forgive you, and I love you very much. Mm -hmm. And she is single, if you and are I, too. And I do. I do. I actually, I do have a TikTok crush right now, so Marco, I'm actually unavailable. I'm taking. He's British. You're, wait, no, you have a crush. That doesn't mean that you're unavailable. No, I'm saving myself for marriage. <laughs> to him. Um. All right, let's read some headlines. I literally can't open anything. Yeah, I can't, I can't either. <laughs> Stop shutting up. <laughs> We're gonna restart our computer. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's the heat. It is the heat. He's a 10. Is that, what's wrong with dating men in Miami? If he's a 10 and he lives in Miami, he's just Latino. Oh <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh shit, you're right. Wait, I was what? trying to tell Sarah about like, why is Miami so different than like New York or LA? Like. Is this a word? Yeah. <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> That's we're awesome! I think that, like, because there's rich fucking people in Miami. 
Yeah. There's rich people in New York and LA, but I feel like in Miami, it's a lot of like musicians, like Drake, Bad Bunny, Rosalia. They love Miami, dude. Mm -hmm. They love Miami. Oh, I thought you were wearing a, what'd you say? Joe Jonas, Joe Jonas has a house here? Yeah. Oh, shit. Slay! <laughs> that makes sense. They're from, there's rumors. Have y'all ever Googled the Jonas Brothers? Like where, Jonas Brothers, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> it says like Nick is from Texas, Joe is from Jersey. You know this? Aren't they triplets? Aren't they what? <laughs> How could they be born in different states? That's a joke. I know that they're not triplets. They're quadruplets. There's four of them. <laughs> they lived in an RV. Yeah. Did home births. <laughs> yes. All right, Marco, we're abandoning ship. Mm -hmm. I'm unplugging. Yeah, because you also Austin Butler. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll just read the headlines. Yeah. Adapt gonna... and overcome. Yeah. All right, number one, you want to take it? Florida man charged with assault with a deadly weapon after throwing alligator through Wendy's drive through window. And that was that girl. This is the girl's brother, yeah. So we have uh, three first-hand accounts that this did happen. Mm -hmm. Her, the gator, and this news story. Yeah. Second one, naked Florida man chases people and cops around Chick-fil-A parking lot telling them that they're gay for looking at his penis. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Period. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it was during Pride Month. <laughs> Good for him. Florida man steals a car, realizes a baby is in it, drops baby off safely, and makes his getaway. That's really considerate. Do crime, but do no harm. Yes. That's what it is. Thousands of gun owners in Florida planning to shoot down Hurricane Irma. <laughs> Did that? Did what? Your mom's name is Irma. Sorry to your mother. They said, this woman is so god-awful, we're naming a hurricane after her. I was like, hopefully it never, no one ever shot at your mother. Um, yeah. Did this work? No. No. Yeah. Okay. I feel like um, if you have a hurricane named it, Hurricane Sarah would be like... Well, hurricanes like a bunch of that already and happened in like 1998. Hurricane Sarah? Yeah. Where was it? Where were you? <laughs> okay. Actually, you if do? it was 1998, I was in Florida. I lived in Jacksonville, and from <laughs> Jacksonville, the Miami of the sh fucking shithole. Okay, um, <laughs> sorry. The Miami of the North. <laughs> the Wait, hurricane, oh, I don't know, it, my, nothing is loading. Hurricane Sarah, yeah. This, <laughs> both of our laptops are shit it out. It's so sick. Next. Florida man gets tired of waiting at hospital, steals ambulance, drives home. I get it. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this earlier. Like, if I ever am in a crippling medical situation where I need to be rushed to the hospital, order me a fucking Uber. Yeah. Like, ambulances are $8,000, dude. What is... I'd rather just die. No, yeah. When I had my kidney infection, I got an Uber, and I was, like, screaming in the Uber. Yeah. yeah. You begged me to take you, and I said, I want to take a nap. <laughs> I said, I'm kind of busy. Like, I therapy. just took my makeup off. <laughs> I just washed my sheets. It's been a long day. I want to like, yeah. get in bed. Yeah. Florida man tries to rob GameStop while wearing transparent bag on his head. Very much giving Lana Del Rey mesh mask. Yeah. I just like imagine him like trying to like demand something and the condensation just like immediately like fills the bag. It's like when you walk outside and your glasses like fog up. Yeah. So he's like, give me all the money. <laughs> but I can't see, so just put it in my hand. <laughs> Please. <laughs> It's like the honor system, put it in my hand. I can't see. My mom's waiting in the car outside. <laughs> yes. Florida man breaks into jail to hang with his friends. Aww. <laughs> That's kind <laughs> of <Angry>. endearing. <laughs> Bitch, you want to come up on stage? <laughs> Wait, what? He's cracking jokes over here. I'm like hearing them in one ear and I'm dying. Uh oh. He's so funny. <laughs> he said, Whatever the showing penis and like saying that he's gay, he said, "Okay, pride." <laughs> <laughs> okay, pride. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Florida man apparently painting anti-Hillary messages on Tampa Bay crabs. So he literally painted, he really, what did he write? Hillary is a lying bitch on the underbelly of a crab. And then he did it to multiple crabs. But the thing is, is that crabs shed their, like their shell. Which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just like a hermit crab thing. Didn't know all crabs do it. Florida man leaves job at Burger King, steals all their nuggets because fuck it. And the, the picture is him holding six bags of frozen nuggets. <laughs> and then by the time he's home, it's like cooked in the Miami heat. <laughs> Perfectly heated up. Now my screen's black, Marco, what are we doing? Should I just abandon ship once again? Yeah, but I am interested. If you plug it into her computer, it's not going to work, right? Oh, no, you're going to get, like, several viruses. Oh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah once said her computer runs like a 2003 Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> where it's like, what's that it's like network where it's, like, unsecured? I just always, like, join them. I really don't care. Yeah. My credit card has been stolen twice, and I only got it for the first time this year. Your what? My credit card. Oh. This is a joke, guys. I'm not that stupid. Oh, I was like, what are you putting your credit card into? <laughs> I, you know, one thing I don't, like, I really, after going to Europe and coming back, <laughs> those girls are like, I traveled abroad. I would know. <laughs> it's like, um, in Europe, they bring the thing to you, and you put your card in, and then they walk away. Here, it's like you have to give your card to them and the tr trust that they're not writing down the numbers and all the information. Yeah. That's so crazy. I've never been to Europe, and uh, but I, they don't have AC or <laughs> ICE, and they also write down, they write down your credit card No, they don't. Okay. That happens here, is what okay. I'm saying. Because yeah. you know where you're like, I'm going to pay for the tab, and you give your credit card to the waiter, and they leave the table? Yeah. Like, they could just be writing that shit down. That's true. I think the only thing that bugs me about Europeans is when you're standing in a line at like a grocery store and they're like right behind you. Oh yeah, Like no you're like trying space. to buy like mayonnaise and there's just like a German man just like breathing down your neck. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hello. I said to her on this TikTok the other day where I was like, <laughs> what was the premise? It was like, um, English, English speakers or like English people in Europe or whatever. And it was just like, hello, can I get like a cup of tea? And then it was like, German guy, hello. <laughs> or they're just like, or German DJs, like European DJs, like everyone put your tits in the fucking air. <laughs> yes. I love Europe. Florida man climbs on playground equipment to tell children where babies come from. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like sex that is so in your face. <laughs> They gotta learn at some point. Mm -hmm. It's best it's from a stranger on a playground. <laughs> yes. A Florida man manages to misspell school on warning sign twice. And he wrote S C O H O L, S C O H O L twice. Sco hole. But the thing is, is if he thought it was correct the first time, then he would think it's correct the second time. There we go. All right, so this is what I did. Like, when you say stuff, I'm just going to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That works. All right, let's do shirtless Florida woman. <laughs> Marco, oh. are you with us? <laughs> it's going to be browsers.com <laughs> slash. All right, here's the next one. Florida man wanders naked through neighborhood holding coconut oil. <laughs> Erection. <laughs> says he's aroused by rain. It's like Mavis Beacon, like a sentence to like test your typing. Florida man wanders naked through a neighborhood yeah. holding cooking oil, erection. I'm a little scared to Google Yeah, I wouldn't Google there's this no, one, Marco. There's no penis, only cooking oil. All right. At least on the, yeah, that's it right there. Here we go. Just a little ass. Uh-huh. Just a little ass. So he was holding the cooking oil and his erection in the other hand. Um, what do you think the oil was for? <laughs> Drinking. Probably like lubricant, maybe. But holding just like a bottle of Crisco or vegetable oil. <laughs> yes. Hmm. That bottle is kind of. The. Uh, you know what I mean? You guys ever held? You ever, ever made a cake? And you use vegetable oil? Crisco comes in a can. In a Not tin. Crisco. I'm talking about vegetable oil. Oh. And it's that tall. You could put a penis in it. Is what I'm alluding to. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, this one is teenage Florida man hacks his high school, emails everyone urgent announcement about mandatory penis inspections in accordance 
with uh, Florida Penal Code 69. Just look up Florida Penal Code 69. It's real, look it up. Yeah. We see, like, your entire search history. (laughs) Florida Penal Code 69. 69. Go for it. Nope. Nine. Yep. Go to all. Go to all. Florida Florida student hacks in the school. Announces. Click it. Oh, that's bright! (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. It's like... Like those shirts that say like female body inspector, like FBI. <laughs> FBI. Or like free mammograms. Yeah. Seniors who do not pass the inspection will not be allowed to graduate. Is it just checking for a penis or something about the penis? Yeah. What's down there? Let me see, man. <laughs> you can't graduate unless you pass. That's wild. Wait, what? I can't read, it's so funny. It was bright. something funny, but then at the same time, it was something scary. One concerned parent. Yeah. <laughs> the parents, like, if it gets them into Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> you get a scholarship off your penal code. Mm. How well you did. Florida man causes $100,000 in damage to Walmart liquor store. Under construction with hot wired forklift. <laughs> Gives police his name as Alice Wonderland and says a hookah smoking caterpillar told him to do it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know y'all have like it's like liquor stores like it's like Walmart and then Walmart gardening and then Walmart liquor. Yeah. yeah. And then Walmart firearms. Walmart Walmart yes. weaponry. Yeah. What? You get liquor at CVS? Why then why is Walmart separate? What is this? Oh, it's him. Florida Man Walmart. Now see that could be anything. Yeah. That's it. That's assaulting a Walmart worker. That's a federal offense. It's just employees fighting <laughs> customers. That is a federal offense. This one I hate. Yeah. Next one. Florida man robs bank, strips naked, then runs down the street throwing stolen money everywhere. That's the Robin Hood we want. Yeah. The redneck Robin Hood. You ever been to a NASCAR race? <laughs> Have you ever been to a NASCAR race? Oh, what? He looks like a police sketch of the last guy. Jesus. (laughs) Nakey bank time? Nakey, nakey. Good for him, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at him. He's naked. Yeah. All right. Wait, have I ever been to what? Uh, a NASCAR race. <laughs> no, but we were supposed to go to one before COVID. Like, we had this, like, deal to, like, That's go to right. a NASCAR race. We had a brand deal with NASCAR <laughs> before COVID, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. They were like, can y'all just get down there, like, in the, in the field and just film? Yeah. And I was like, I'll be topless and in Daisy Dukes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette. I hope that's okay. Yes. All right, we have one more for you guys. Yeah. And it is, Florida man wears a fuck the police shirt to court, wins the case. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, he didn't say fuck the judge, so. That's true. Yeah. The judge couldn't care less. (laughs) That's not about me. Well, I feel like, all in all, in conclusion. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel like Florida Man is either the best of the best or the worst of the worst uh-huh. of redneckery. You know what I mean? Where it's like, they're doing it right or Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Look away. Oh, look away. I get it. Mm, it's so wrong. It's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got a bunch of rednecks in my family and some of this stuff, I was like, that sounds pretty normal. And then I was like, that's nah, not mm-hmm. actually What normal. is the craziest thing one of your redneck family members have done? Um, damn, that's a great question. Voter fraud. <laughs> Voter fraud. Voting for a dead relative. Voting for a, well, you on could, behalf of a dead relative. Oh, like like writing in their name or like yeah. saying that they are. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my nana had a pet raccoon. Uh huh. Like found it because you know baby raccoons are actually really cute. Yeah. She when he was very little, put him in a cage, would feed him grapes yeah. and chocolate, 
Don't know how he didn't die, by the way. I guess raccoons eat literal garbage, so yeah. it's actually fine. Uh, my, uh, my uncle from Alabama, he thought, like, with the 1999, like, 2000, what's that called? Like, turn of the... Like, he thought, yeah, that something was going to happen. Y2K, yeah. He, like, thought that the world was going to end, so he sold everything that he owned, and he moved to Alaska. And so we were like, why Alaska? And he's like, because the, the slimy green aliens can't stand the cold. And we're like, how do you, how do you know that that's what they look like? like? No, 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 and you have a point. I was like, I was like have you right. ever considered that space is really cold? Like, and they got through that? <laughs> Not on the ship. Well, I think... The, really to conclude, Florida Man uh, came to be because of the heat, and that's what we will leave you with. Mm -hmm. So, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> Give it up for Sarah. And Brittany. And for Marco.